hello friends welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to give you some updates on uh, specially hibiscus plant because uh, you can see these are the plants so this plant you can see that is having a lots of growth over here it is means much wider and much um, in height it is having a good height so this plant i have uh, reported last year i have pruned it and then this is the result that is in front of you. It is having tons and tons of birds as well as healthy growth and it is also having some mealybugs bugs as well which I will wash away but I do not need to do anything because uh, these days there is a high possibility of storm, thunderstorm that will come and it will do my work that way. So other than this, here I have some more hibiscus plants. You can see the growth of each plant. Can you see the shiny leaves? So this one gives uh, this uh, is bigger than this my palm flower, this plant. So I am looking for this one. It will uh, take time because it is having a very large pot and it will, it will require more time to develop its roots to that large pot. Here is I have uh, another plant you can see the shiny leaves will tell you the uh, health of the plant isn't it so here you can see the flower bud and it is also a double flower it is a single one but this is a double one this will be a red double flower hibiscus so here you can see another of my hibiscus plant that is that will give me white double flower here i have another plant which i have not reported yet it is two years, two to three years in the same pots, in same soil. I have not added anything else except for liquid fertilizer in winter. But you can see the flowers are blooming and it is having a lots of birds as well. This plant is a new one in my hibiscus collection and this is the flower. You can see the size as well as the color and the structure of the flower. I love this plant. Other than this, if I say this one is another one, this is um, means. This one is the newest one that I have reported, so it is taking time to discover this plant. I think it is having some difficulty with chlorosis. It is having some iron deficiency, so I need to add something that will provide it iron. So I will talk to talk with you for this plant later. Same with this plant, you can see some yellow leaves, so that may be due to the iron de deficiency. The update means I think I have made the video on particularly this plant, not that plant, that is a periwinkle you can see, but this one, so uh, you can see tons of bird, I think you can see the growth and the birds, and you can see, and here is the flower, can you see, beyond this flower also I think there is a ton of birds, so it is looking nice isn't it? this uh, structure so this is the rose of uh, Sharon I will make videos on this the blue hibiscus but the flowers here is some small hibiscus uh, very small uh, variety of hibiscus uh, here in this plant as well this is uh, my one of the oldest means I have started my gardening with this plant you can say so this have not given me flowers for a longer period of time so I am looking for flowers in this plant so this is also having some chlorosis problem I think so I need to treat this plant this one is the massive plant you can see see the birds can you see this is the flower this 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 everything this every bird is of this single plant but this is in this pot, you can see this grow back, but in this pot actually there is another plant which gives me pink colored double flower. So this, uh, other than this, this whole plant you can see beyond this is one single plant. So that is in a grow back and in this pot this, this flower. So in this, this pot, I have shown you to uh, how I have treated the mealybugs. If, if you remember you can see a very 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 uh, I think you cannot see any mealybug but in this flower but I can see one so just with um, nail or finger it will fell off and this is the flower you can see so 
it is okay i will wash it later on uh, this is another white hibiscus it is also having some mealybug issues so this time of the year um, mealybug does affect hibiscus plant but this time of the year hibiscus are the best plant to bloom so remember that thing so this will take more time to grow it means it will it requires some more time to evolve in this larger pot and see this plant how vigorous this plant is and it is also having some problem but i think that that is because of this larger pot it was in a very small pot and i have given it a very large pot suddenly so it may fall some uh, blooms of it so i will give you update on this hibiscus total thing later on so let me now tell you about the container gardening inspiration that video the update so if you see over here you can see the periwinkle is doing very well the gladia as well and uh, as i have told you that the what to say the pearl strand it is coming up like this this way so a very exciting plant here if i let me show you some more flowers as well here i have some random flowers you can see the moss roses and some periwinkles as well now as for the winter flowers you can see hollyhock and dog flowers with some weeds growing i need to clear them off some more dog flowers you can see the white ones and it is very magical that i can see such flowers in this warm uh, summer actually uh, whenever we get a very harsh temperature i don't know why it is maybe due to less pollution or something like that every time we get a higher temperature it rains or some cool wind blows over this is the first time uh, in this is second of may and we are not having uh, reached very high temperatures so it is very very uh, and you can see the flowers as well so many colors of flowers of winter i really like this so this is the sunflower inspiration you can say i love sunflowers they are my favorite plant uh, one of the favorite flowers and you can see just looking at them makes me happy i don't know why uh, here i have some again winter flower which is vigorous you can see just see this is my hand and just see this it is it grew crazily and now it is starting to bloom sweet alisum can you believe means at least i can believe because this is my first time experience of sweet alisum in this particular temperature so they are doing very well and believe me i have not added a single day liquid fertilizer to any of my plants they are blooming like that only because i am a bit lazy kind of gardener so <laughs> i do not as once i think i have last added uh, liquid fertilizer in february march gun april gun this is may and they are doing it now means till now because they have bloomed very well last season as well here i have one gladia and many gladius as well there is geranium you can see the rain lily update i have given you some marigold that are blooming by means they have seeded themselves only and now they are blooming in this spot and here i have some pearl strain so i love this variegation and if you remember i have planted this whole row in front of you and i wanted to create a small hedge of pearl strain in this section so i will remove this pot because it is full of weeds and one capsicum and i do not require it now because it will not give me any fruit rather so here is some update again here is the basil you can see one celosia and marigold so they are in one single oil drum here is mustard i means my aim in this area was to cover that drip line you can see can you see the drip line so i think it will eventually when it will grow it will cover it 
and I do not need to take any measures to hide it or something like that. So here you can see I have planted one gladia, uh, basil and cochia. This is my uh, plumeria, pudica maybe. So you can see the growth. And I have grown it from cutting. I am very very proud of myself. I have not bought this plant. I, even I have some more cuttings left over, uh, over there. You can see I think over there. Here I am having some uh, balsam. You can see they are blooming vigorously and yes over here as well I have one white balsam you can see this white color oh I love this can you see this it is nothing less than a rose I think so I really really appreciate uh, balsam so there, here I have some pearl strand. you can see I forgot to show you pearl strand as well so uh, let me show you that thing as well you can see this pearl strand. you will see less flowers that's because I have taken many 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 a number of cuttings from this particular plant and I have planted everywhere because I you know that in this lockdown period we are short in shortage of plants and we need maximum plants as possible, isn't it? So I have planted many, many cuttings of pulsarin in many places. So let me give you some updates on the fruit plants that I have. So this is Chiku or Shobeda in Bengali. Chiku in Hindi, I don't know what it's called in English. So this is the fruit, looks like. You can see. Here I have one another. And it is full of flowers full full loaded with flowers and new growth and believe me I have not added a single uh, fertilizer to it it is all because of organic things the mango see the shape I love this fruit plants are also magical they give a very very magical feeling to uh, the gardener isn't it you can see how pretty the shape of the mango is so here I have the is this one I have grown from seeds the chrysanthemum and these are the weeds I do not want that so other than this I have some lemon so recently I got one comment that is uh, on this plant uh, video that is I will say that is uh, an obvious comment because uh, you watch videos uh, so that you can learn isn't it so I need to take care of this that thing that is you that you can uh, enjoy it isn't it watching it you should not try hard to do anything so that was my fault when I have made the video on this plant I have uh, only made the subtitle video means I have not uh, spoken in that anything like that but the full information is given in my channel you can go and watch that obviously but uh, that was my fault so I will definitely make a video next year uh, before the this plant gives uh, starts blooming so you can see the the one who have commented if you see, are watching this video you can see the means the information is okay because I am giving the update the next year this that was the first year and this is the second year and I have not changed the soil at all so I think the only the video because of the video you felt bad so please um, don't take it seriously <laughs> and here I have some lychee plant you can see I have not made any video on this particular plant but next year I hope to do so here some more sunflowers and culturan you can see the prettiest combination or this golden and yellow I love this so there is one color peeping off from out from over there and here is the lemon plant you can see how many lemons are there I cannot count it because uh, there is some restrictions so but there are more more means many many lemons you can see over here you can see two and many many uh, places there are lemons and they are started blooming as well so this is 
I will talk about you in next any other videos. In this case, in this sunflower, what I have done, I have pinched it from here. You can see I have pinched it from here and too many and you can see one, two, three, four, five branches came out and over there one, six. Six branches came out. Oh no, not six. Seven, eight. Eight branches. So, pinching is a good idea. But you can see the size of the bird will not be very big as big as that one or over there that one. So, if you want bigger flowers, uh, you should not pinch. If you want more flowers, smaller flowers, go ahead and pinch. That's totally up to you. So, that is a trick. Here I have one. I think this is lemon coral cypress. I don't know the, exactly the name, but I love this plant. You can see in the interior it is dark green, and at it is as it is coming out, it is yellow. I love this color combination of this plant. So I hope you like this video, and you can see this combination over here as well. It is looking pretty. I really adore this one because the petunia died. I've had, uh, planted a uh, pulse friend over here, but this alisum, they are growing, not only growing, they are looking amazing. They are one of my favorite winter flowering plants now. I actually love them because of the blooms as well, but now I love them because of their long life tendency, <laughs> like the thing. So I hope I have shown you a maximum of the updates that I have made video for last few days and more 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 exciting videos are coming please subscribe to my channel this is the Rangun Kripa in Bengali we say Madhubi Lata see the growth see over just I'm moving back see that this this entire portion it is isn't it looking uh, pretty good like only because of that plant also because of this uh, foliage plant I need if I make ever make any topiary I'm being, being very frank with you if I ever make any topiary like thing I will obviously going to make this plant a topiary so this is pride of India and I love this foliage because of the color the light green foliage it is not due to the malnutrition it is due to it's by its nature so when it will bloom, it, uh, I think this plant is of white color and this plant is of uh, pink color. So here I have the sweet bay leaf flowers which I pick every day. So now only I am going to pick, I think I am going to pick in front of you as well. So just, this is jasmine, uh, this is normal jasmine. I pick jasmine, jasmine mogra. So, I hope you all are staying well in your house and you are enjoying your garden as well. So, keep gardening and you can see. So, let me uh, pick some more flowers. I'm going to pick uh, a ton of flowers today. Especially the hibiscus, all the hibiscus I have. So, I will keep... Uh, plucking the flowers and I hope you like this video and I think you love the hibiscuses as well because many people do not like and I have not focused on the periwinkles uh, I think I have insulted them but look at this it is not even properly planted but still it is this beautiful white color I love this plant as well <laughs> I should not underestimate it because this is a desi variety I have highlighted this one but not this one so it is very bad of me that I forgot to show this but look at this it's amazing so thanks a lot for watching this video I will see you in my next one thanks a lot and before going another small this is uh, Clitoria and Gladia this is also known as Aparajita uh, but the scientific name is Clitoria so, okay, thanks a lot for watching this video.